Hey guys, uh, this lesson is dividing by 9. So this is uh, lesson 7, 9 and our lessons are www.mrmathdog.com. So what strategies can we use to divide by 9? So we're going to see a lot of similar strategies here. So let's go ahead and unwrap a problem here. So Mrs. Peralta's class went on a field trip to the zoo. The 27 students from the class are separated into 9 equal groups. So how many students are in each group? Alright, and then well, let's answer a couple of questions here. Make sure we understand the question, the whole problem here. Do we need to find the number of equal groups or the number in, in each group? Okay, well they said that there are nine equal groups, so we don't need to find that. That's how many we know equal groups we have. We need to find out uh, how many are in each group. That's what it's asking right there. So the problem is asking how many are in each group. So what label will our answer have? Well, it's asking about students, so it's the number of students that are going to be in each group. Okay. All right, so uh, here's one way we can make equal groups, you guys. So we've done this before. Draw nine circles to show the nine equal groups. Okay, so there's nine different circles right there. And then we can draw counters and put counters in one in each group. Okay, so there's, there's uh, one counter in each group. So now we have nine counters used up. And then what we can do is just continue uh, drawing counters one at a time until all the 27 counters are, are drawn, okay? Now I'm doing three at a time just to save some time here, you guys. So, But we do one at a time and just keep putting, so I put one in here and one in here and one in here and then one in here, one in here, one in here, and so on and keep going. But I'm going to do three at a time. So here we have nine counters, so I'm going to do three more. So there's 10, 11, 12. There's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, we got to get to 27. So we'll go now. All of them have two counters in each circle. So I'm going to go back up to the top. There's 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Finally, 25, 26, 27. Okay, so we've used up all the 27 counters for the 27 students. And so how many counters are in each group? Well, it looks like each circle has three counters in it okay so there are three counters in each group right there so there's going to be uh, there's going to be what's the question asking for it's asking for how many students are in each group so there's going to be three students in each group oops I forgot I shrunk that up so I can fit this in right here so we can write 27 divided by 9 equals this is going to be 3 or this way we can write it this way 27 divided by 9 equals 3 and don't forget that 3 floats right above the 7 the last the last digit, okay? All right, so um, uh, what is another way we can solve the problem of 27 divided by 9? Well, do you remember in the last lesson, um, uh, dividing by 8, um, or maybe it was dividing by 7, I forget. I think it was dividing by 7 we did this. We can make 9 equal rows of tiles, okay? So here's 9 equal rows of tiles, and then um, and continue making uh, in the 9 rows of tiles until we end up with all 27 tiles right here. Okay, and then we can count how many are in each row. There's three in this row, three in this row, three in this row. So we get three. Twenty-seven divided by nine equals three. Okay, or we can do, uh, I know we did this in the last lesson, we can uh, do repeated subtraction. So we can start with twenty-seven and subtract nine and keep subtracting nine until we finally reach zero. All right, and then we just count up the number of times we subtracted nine. We subtracted nine here, right here, right here. So we subtracted nine three times. So we get three that way. Okay, here's another way, you guys. We can use factors uh, to find 27 divided by nine. So factors of, of this number are three times three. Three times three equals nine. So three and three are factors. So what we can do is take 27. And, you know, if we're thinking of 27 divided by 9, we can do 27 divided by 3. And then take that answer and just divide it by 3 again, because we're going to divide it by each of these factors right here. Okay, so 27 divided by 3 equals 9. And then take that again and divide it by 3 again, because there's two 3's. We're going to divide it. Okay, so 27 divided by the second 3 is equal to 3. So here's the 9 right here, these two 3's right here. So 27 divided by 9 is still 3, okay? All right, so uh, we can just write it like that. Okay, 27 divided by 9 is 3. Or we can use a related multiplication fact. Okay, we've done this before. 27 divided by 9 equals some number, and we called it A. It's just called a variable in algebra, so if we don't, it's an unknown uh, letter, so we call it A. So the related multiplication fact would be uh, 9 times this number, this unknown number, 
9 times what number equals 27? So just think what completes the multiplication fact. Uh, 9 times 3 equals 27. So 27 divided by 9 equals 3. Okay, so this 3 floats right in here because it was this A right here. Or 27 divided by 9 equals 3 if you want to write it like that. Okay, almost done here. So what multiplication fact can we use to find 63 divided by 9? Well, uh, we can use the related multiplication fact of 9 times what number equals 63? So I chose the letter A again. So then ask yourselves, 9 times what number equals 63? Well, 9 times 7 equals 6, 63. So, so 63 divided by 9 must be equal to 7 right there. Okay, take care.